Boris Eitrick has been a mechanic for more than 50 years. So when he looks under a car hood, well, here is damage a lot. He knows From instantly here, whether or not the wires have been chewed. Exactly here. There were bite marks right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, here, you see. And while Eitrick says this issue is common and not biased to just one type of car, this lawsuit obtained by 10 investigates filed against Toyota claims that it's happening more because of new wiring that is coated with soy-based materials. What we allege in the complaint is that it has attracted a very high number of rodents who get into people's cars under the hood, start chewing through the wires and disabling the cars. Names on the class action suit are from car drivers all over the country. These are photos from a man's car in Indiana. These ones from a Claremont, Florida woman where you can clearly see bite marks. And these ones from our mechanic in St. Pete. So we're talking Plus, thousands over, of dollars. Yeah, thousands of dollars. Always is thousands. We're not exactly sure why the manufacturers started using soy-based products. What we believe is that they were trying to do it for environmental reasons. But Brian Kabatek, a lawyer whose firm is representing the class action lawsuit against Toyota, says it's not good for the car owner's pocketbook, as this problem isn't covered under warranty. Right, because it can cause a complete and absolute failure of mechanical systems. It can cause uh, uh, a failure while you're in route. So Kabatek says he only wants to see Toyota make things right. All we're asking for in this case is if people have paid money out of their pocket to repair the wiring, give them their money back and change your warranty. Because if your car does end up with chewed up wiring, it can be dangerous for the driver if not fixed. That caused short damage could lead to engine failure. DME, or actually engine control unit is burned. He's done. In a statement, Toyota says that rodent damage to vehicle wiring occurs across the industry and the issue is not brand or model specific and that they are currently not aware of any scientific evidence that shows rodents are attracted to automotive wiring because of an alleged soy-based content.